Hello, welcome to Data with Zach. On this channel, I help demystify data and software careers through educational videos. Today, we're talking about data engineering. How is it different across the big tech companies? So I've worked at Airbnb, Netflix, and Facebook for a total of five years of data engineering experience, and I've had a pretty diverse experience. For example, at Facebook, I focused a lot more on visualization and metrics and um, experimentation and things in that realm, and it was a lot more like analytics focused. Whereas at Netflix and Airbnb, I've had a lot more things that are focused more on software engineering around like unit testing, integration testing, and all those kind of core software fundamentals. The Airbnb and Netflix expect that out of their data engineers. So yeah, the differences and similarities here are pretty vast. Uh, yeah, let's dive into it. So first up, we have Facebook. I worked at Facebook for two years between 2016 and 2018, and um, I did a lot of stuff in growth analytics. I really focused on experimentation and how to drive incremental impact. Uh, the tools that I really worked with were Python and SQL. Those are very, that was, a, that was it for the most part in terms of languages. I really worked a lot with uh, Presto and Apache Spark for like the pipeline execution. One of the things that's kind of unique about Facebook compared to Netflix and Airbnb is that they actually use Presto inside of their ETLs for the transformation logic. Uh, whereas at Netflix and Airbnb, they pretty much only use it for audit audits and running data quality checks. Um, so for the scheduler at, at Facebook, they use this technology called Data Swarm. Data Swarm is very similar in terms of API to like Apache Airflow. And so it's really nice. It has, it has that same sort of operator API. Um, I, you know, I really liked working with Data Swarm. Um, yeah, and so those are the main technologies that Facebook uses. One of the things that's kind of unique about Facebook is the, their approach to data quality is a little different. Like they want you to mostly get the pipeline done to get data into the system and then really only think about data quality checks like when, when an error occurs or when there's a problem. Uh, they, they, they kind of do reactive data quality, whereas at Netflix and Airbnb, they're a lot more proactive data quality, which I think is a very big difference between the companies, actually. Yeah, and so th that's kind of like how Facebook works. Next up, we have Netflix. I worked at Netflix for two years from 2018 to 2020. Uh, I mainly worked in the security and platform data engineering team. Initially, I w worked on building metrics, measuring like the efficiency of the platform and helping experiments run better. And then later on, I worked more on building master data for the information security team to use. Yeah, it was a really great time. I learned a lot, a lot of diverse experience at Netflix. Their freedom and responsibility culture is definitely very unique. I f used for my uh, languages at the company, I used Python, SQL, you know, those are everywhere, Python and SQL everywhere. And uh, the last one I used was Scala. I used a lot of Scala at Netflix. I had never coded in Scala before Netflix. And so I learned a lot, definitely learned a lot uh, working there. And, uh, this, and I really kind of fell in love with Scala. Scala was really great. Um, so the execution engines that we used were pretty much like Scala Spark and Spark with a bit of like Flink as well. Cause I worked a bit in like, uh, the real time space at Netflix as well. Like that's a kind of new, exciting area of data engineering is that whole like real time streaming space and Apache Flink is definitely something you should check out. Um, that was pretty fun. Uh, so for the storage system, you know, at Facebook, they use Hadoop and HDFS. At Netflix, uh, they are in the cloud on Amazon's cloud, right? So they use S3 for their storage. And uh, that's where like all the files are on S3. And we just do big data by moving files around on S3. It's pretty great. Uh, the file format that they use at Netflix is um, Parquet. Parquet is, a, is another great file format that um, kind of competes with um, ORC, the format that Facebook uses. Um, that's kind of a difference. Uh, another thing at Netflix, they use um, Mason for their scheduler and Mason essentially takes in a YAML file and then it turns it into a pipeline, which is different from uh, Facebook and Airbnb where those companies are more around like Python APIs for their scheduler, right? Because Airflow and DataSwarm are very like Python API driven, whereas Mason's more like YAML driven, which is, you know, another difference. Um, all, there's gonna be links for all these different things like in the description, so definitely check it out. Um, yeah, so some of the things that I found interesting at Netflix were that like 
there was a good mix of Python and Scala, actually, because there's like PySpark and Scala Spark. And they they had a hard time standardizing on that because like the freedom and responsibility culture at Netflix creates more like variation, which can be good as well because you have a good mix of different things, right? Uh, but it can also be kind of uh, uh, harder to maintain as well because you have more languages and tools and technologies that you have to maintain as well. So it's definitely like a, it cuts both ways, you know? Um, yeah, like I really found uh, my time at Netflix to be very um, fun, very um, exciting. And I, I learned a lot from working there. So yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for Netflix. So next up we have Airbnb. I've been working at Airbnb for about a year now. Uh, I work there mostly building uh, master data for um, the commercial products team. It's been a really great fun time the last year. Um, Airbnb, the languages that they use for data engineering are uh, Scala, Python, and SQL. Very similar to Netflix. I would say the main difference between Netflix and Airbnb in this case is that Airbnb uses a lot more Scala. Uh, Netflix is like 50-50 Pi Spark, Scala Spark, where Airbnb has even more Scala Spark. It's like a, it's a, a big percentage Scala Spark. Um, I think uh, the other thing is like for S S3 is what's used for storage, just like Netflix. Uh, the, the file format that's used is um, Parquet, kind of like Netflix, even though Netflix more recently uh, migrated to Apache Iceberg which I think is gonna be one of the new, more exciting file formats that's gonna get more adopted over the long run in data engineering. So I highly recommend checking out Apache Iceberg. Um, for the scheduler, um, Airbnb uses Apache Airflow, uh, the, the open source technology that they created. Um, it's a really, really powerful Python API that can create um, different DAGs and different pipelines very easily and programmatically. And um, I highly recommend checking out Apache Airflow if you have never tried it out. It's a very powerful data engineering tool. I think one of the things that's really unique about Airbnb's data engineering is that they have a very, very strong focus on data quality. Data quality is like the number one thing in data engineering there. Like they have this process called the Midas process that is a many step process for creating um, a good data pipeline that creates usable data, documented data, tested data, and tests are many fold, right? You have to test the code with um, unit tests and integration tests, but you also got to test the data with data quality checks and statistical tests. And that uh, is um, a really great thing. I, I find that process to be really awesome because then at the end of it, when you release a data set, you know like, yes, this data set is here for the long term and I really think that it's going to last, right? It will be a very um, good data set that will last for a long time because it has documented, has all the quality it needs. It makes me feel like I'm building really strong, powerful data infrastructure. And that's one of the things I really enjoy about working at Airbnb. Um, yeah, I think that uh, it's, it's, it's been really awesome. These companies are pretty diverse and uh, Definitely, uh, you can kind of see how there's like kind of maybe two different archetypes here. You have like one that's at Facebook, which is more like SQL and analytics focused. And then Netflix and Airbnb are more like Scala and software engineering focused. And they're like two different kind of flavors of data engineering that, uh, that are really out there. Um, and the, you know, but they also use different tools. Every company uses different tools, which is, it's interesting how companies pick different technologies for different things. And I really think it's it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed the video here. And if you did, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Peace.